Welcome to Pagal Coder. In this video, we will learn how to install the ESP32 board and how to use it to blink the inbuilt LED on the board. So this is the packaging, and here you can see the ESP32 board along with the USB cable. First of all, we will power the ESP32 board from the laptop to check if the red power LED light turned on or not. If it turned on, that means the hardware is working. Now let's see if we can upload a code to this ESP32 board. To do that, first of all, we will open the Arduino IDE and go to Preferences. Here you can see Additional Boards Manager URLs. Now we have to copy-paste a link in this box. The link you can find in the description, and you can copy from there. Now let's paste the link here inside the box and click on OK. Now connect your laptop with Wi-Fi so that the Arduino IDE can download the necessary files. Now go to Tools and then go to Board Manager. In Board Manager here, you have to search for ESP32 and at the bottom you can find this ESP32 by Espressif Systems. Now install this by clicking the Install button and wait for some time. Now plug your ESP32 board with the laptop and come to Arduino IDE again. Now we will come to File, Examples, Basics, and then select Blink. Click on Select Boards, click on Select Other Boards and Ports. Here in the Board section search for DOAT and you can see this DOAT ESP32 Dev Kit V1. Select this board name. Now in the Ports section, select the port wherever your laptop is showing USB. Now press on OK. Now simply click on this Upload button and wait. You can see the board is writing the data inside the registers, and after some time, you, there is a blue LED blinking every 1,000 millisecond, or one second, as it is written in the code. Here the blue light is inbuilt LED of the ESP32 board, and we can use it as an output. So, congratulations! You have successfully uploaded your first program to the ESP32 board.